Welcome to your Job Skills Share training internship. What is this feature? Why are we so confident about this feature? How is it going to help a member? Let's talk about this. This program is designed based on an issue. So what is that issue? Let's just go straight to the resume. So this is the intern resume that we're currently giving right now. And before uh, internship, we would give the same resume. And it will have the powerful terms like Office 365, ticketing system, Active Directory, SCCM, any connect and all these type of things that makes your resume look pretty good. And that is where you have a little bit different thing going on than a person who just finished A plus but didn't know anything about these current in demand skills. Now that is something we've been telling many for many many years, and our members know this stuff, and they know the power of using this type of skills. So with that, we are pretty good. Our courses are designed for that to teach you these skills. But the biggest problem for any platform is this area. How do you put professional experience? Because if you remove this section, this resume is still going to be great. But then, of course, you as a member will always have this confidence issue that I still haven't seen something like in reality, you know, or my resume doesn't show that technical experience. You know, I'm still lacking that. So this is where we give you that experience. Of course, this is not going to be like a real world service provider type of company where they're going to give you clients and you will be working on um, that's not going to happen. But since, like I said, we are in a very different situation, we can do that because we are an online platform. We can create content and you can do that. We can put it on the website for you to show it to the employers, just like what one of our member did. Uh, he created a lot of content and he became almost a trainer in, 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 a, in a specific area in IT because of that project that he was able to showcase. So you could do a lot of different things because we're out there online. So you can use that towards your career. And that is the main value that you're just filling the space with some good valuable skills, not just, you know, throwing things out there. Of course, we're not going to even give you reference if you do that. Uh, you will have to pass a lot of different things in this internship to be able to be even uh, say that I have done this with JSS because we want to keep our value in the market. So how does this work? Uh, basically, uh, we are going beyond our normal capabilities. That's why we put this in the red marks right here that this is not our normal thing. We do skills teaching. We don't even have to really worry about this. If we would not care about this specific issue, we will just say we're doing a skills training and that's about it. We are not about you know getting you a job or making sure that you do you get the job that's not our goal over here the goal is to to use every single thing that we have to to just make our members uh, you know get to the point where they can land a job and not only landing a job but then of course our main goal is to uh, you know use, use our resources for career development because we want to make sure that you have a good career uh, less stress and you're moving ahead in IT and that is the main thing in IT you want to be keep moving so we we are moving uh, these kind of things that we're doing I want people to understand that we're doing a little bit above and beyond our capabilities so uh, don't expect something extremely real like you know hey why am I not getting a client to work with none of that stuff will happen in this if that's the mindset then I would recommend not doing this internship because we're not going to do that Second thing is that um, how can we help? And, and that's the, the main help is that, yes, you're getting all that value from us. You're getting certificate. You can showcase uh, some of the projects that you're going to put on our website, uh, on LinkedIn. You can use connection. Basically, you, you will be putting uh, titles uh, under our company. So that's, again, a lot of people like to check LinkedIn accounts. And we have uh, 25 people applied to the internship before and um, almost 14 or 15 are still actively doing it right now the rest of them some of them got dropped out because they had to finish some things which i'm going to explain right now so the the, the thing is this that do i need to, to get a mem membership for this no you don't need a membership you can even be a free member but you need to finish certain things for it to work or else uh, you won't be able to make it in this program so the first one is that did you complete this course all the free videos so you are in this course right now if you are let's say brand new to IT and you just skip to this section let me just do the internship I can guarantee you 98% of the time you will be dropped out even in first few tasks because 
that's how it works so the first thing is that of course we want you to take courses because we're not going to be teaching people how to do a CMD how to do IP config how to open a virtual machine now when people say what is a virtual machine that's a that's a pretty red flag for us because the internship is not to teach you things uh, from scratch the internship is to help you with that resume and to fast forward your uh, you know your chances in the company so they can they, they can see they can, you can you can be seen a little bit more than other people so that's the main purpose of internship internship is not to recreate the wheel again because we have already invested so much time in our learning path and courses that you should be doing that first so you need to be finishing all these courses right here also these videos right here so in this course you need to make sure you you you, you finish every single video here every single video step by step and then you will uh, come all the way down and uh, you'll need to pass at least the project a which is available to public so then they can test their skills quickly in the first try why first try though because if you didn't pass in the first try um, then you, yes some people may just go ahead and do it again and they tell us that okay i passed it can i move on with the internship uh, trust me you will still uh, have a, a very bad time when you start doing real tasks when we give you in the pro in, in the group and you can basically go to discord community and see it yourself um, how real this gets because you know like, like I said it's a human resources you have to respect our energy we have to respect your energy and we just can't let uh, you know people join this program when they don't have any basic knowledge so that's why the course is available for free for you and this is a pretty big course it's going to take you some time not too big but it's going to take you a little good time if you're brand new to it so i highly recommend you finish that once you've passed the project a then that's not it then we have given you these blogs right here now we could easily tell people that you should really finish the whole learning path in this program and then come back but that's going to take a lot of time and we don't even recommend doing that because some people may get jobs very quickly and they can use this whole learning path for career development um, you know moving uh, uh, above in this career or, or you know ahead in this career so that would be the case in, in internship but here because we we added these blogs for a reason because th these are easy to just quickly go over it and learn that kind of like a quick technology uh, and 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 start the internship uh, for example like virtual machines uh, joining a machine to a domain controller active directory stuff is in there uh, resetting a password CMD commands office 3 65 outlook azure for help this all of this stuff these are blogs and you can do it you can do it pretty quick um, so once you finish that then what you need to do is you need to join a discord community this is our community where live members are talking to each other over here and we're a part of different communities too which you're going to find out later on but here you see this internship group right here you see how chatty this gets everybody's involved they get tasked they get to do tasks and everything like that so here a lot of things are going on over here these are the live interns that are working with each other right now doing tasks and learning things and you will find a lot from them you'll learn a lot from them because those are going to be more of your uh, mentors in, in these batches that you're going to join in so you're going to first join in to the discord community after finishing all of this stuff and then you will download this form application form you'll fill it out and then you go back to discord channel and upload it to this channel which says it career advice tips channel so you're going to come back over here and you're going to go to it career tips and you will upload that file right here and then based on your application you will get either get accepted or you'll uh you will be told to do certain things and then maybe try it again you know, you don't have to really go all, all over again maybe there are a few things that are missing or not it depends on your application then I want to make sure that you go over this disclaimer and drop out policy. The biggest one is this right here, which uh, members can be dropped from this program if basic skills are not applied from courses. We're basically we're saying that if you are given a task in their internship that where we are saying that okay, I want you to fix this issue. Um, this is an issue that we just created for you, temporary issue, um, and you spend let's say 15 minutes and you don't even know how to use cmd like you know i need to ping a machine to for it to to see if it's down or not if you if you figure that out after like 30 minutes that's a big red flag in it i mean you're missing something extremely b basic right here which is then covered right here right and that is the reason we're telling people to you need to make sure you finish this fundamental course 
to you know respect our energy respect your own energy uh, because that's that's the real way to learn technology and skills and you just can't bypass that so we want to be we want to be very clear in this area because we don't want people to get hurt at the end when they you know come to our platform and they apply for an internship they get accepted um you know and then we found out that their skills are extremely lacking and, and we basically drop them out um, and we tell them to come back after finishing the course so uh, i hope that people won't take it to the heart because the thing is this we want to help you we're not here to you know drop people or accept people that's none of our not not our goal here our goal is to make sure that you get the right answers and when we see that there's weakness or we see that there's things missing then we're going to tell you that because you're a part of our member you're 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 a community so i hope people take this positively and and use it as a career development and think of us like we're helping them not rather than you know there's no other agenda of this platform uh, we have too many people that are here and even if you're a little bit in doubt then i think you should come to the platform in the chit chat area the discord area ask people over here ask these people that are talking to each other there there's some really nice chat going on over here and everything so come over here and ask these people that they're they're currently doing their internship is it really going to help them is it are is it actually helping them you should ask the people in this community and let them tell you how you know these things are working or maybe they'll give you some tips and everything so i hope you will join in you will follow the instructions and from here on you can use the internship resume if you got the job you got the job that's great after that you can continue uh, you know developing your skills by clicking on the next course to take because after this of course this is not going to end right here nobody will become an IT professional in just you know one month or two months you cannot call yourself a full IT professional that way you can probably never call yourself like a full IT professional why because we always learn nobody's is here to to say that i'm a master of anything uh, so the the best thing is to just get involved practically like this and it's going to push you more and then you will finish at some point you're going to finish like all of this program and you will feel like okay i am above level one and level two i think i should be looking at sysadmin job now because i already have experience in this area and you have worked you know a year or maybe a year and a half and and you may want to move up to a different career then Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please come to the Discord community and discuss the section in the Discord community.